How is um, China's new generation of artificial sun is progressing? And when will its power generation become a reality? The operational capability of the nuclear fusion device indicates the level of a country's nuclear fusion research. China's Huanliu-3 and East Nuclear Fusion Experiment Equipment showed that the country has been ranking in the first tier. To achieve commercial use of nuclear fusion energy in the middle of this century, we still face a series of bottlenecks, including fusion plasma steady-state combustion and fusion reactor materials. To solve these, we need to strengthen collaborative innovation with enterprises, research institutes and universities. The national team should further deepen cooperation with the market. And in order to meet the urgent needs of applications involved in the development of nuclear fusion energy, China should lay out in advance plans to build a scientific nuclear fusion regulatory system. China has been undertaking important tasks in the ADA project. Could you tell us what role China is playing in this project? The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, the world's largest artificial sun, is one of the largest and most far-reaching international scientific projects based in France. It carries the good wishes for the peaceful use of nuclear fusion energy. As one of the seven members of the ITER project, China has undertaken the development of several key systems such as nuclear components, magnet supports, superconducting conductors, and diagnostics. Now, ITER has entered the critical stage of assembly, and a Sino-French consortium led by China National Nuclear Cooperation is the sole contractor for the installation of the main engine of ITER project. In the next three to five years, China will continue to undertake a number of core tasks of key components, train and send high-quality personnel to ITER, and contribute more strength and wisdom to the global fusion energy research.